this happen? The mine. It is collapsing. I left the... my partner down there. I beseech you to help me in this. We were digging, and then there was a rumbling, and the ceiling began to fall. I thought he was right beside me, but alas, he did not emerge. I would go back, but I have inhaled too much dust. I cannot catch my breath. No, and that is what I fear the most. I would never be able to forgive myself. At the very least, though, I must retrieve his supply pack. Everything is in there. Our maps, our water, our food. I cannot survive without these things. Please, go quickly. It would be terrible if the mine collapsed and we did not at least discover my partner's fate. His name is Haidar. I worked for him for many years before he began acknowledging me as his partner rather than his apprentice. I learned much from him, though. I truly hope you are able to get him out of there. No, it is not safe. When a mine becomes unstable like this, there is no way to know when it will collapse completely. It's always a gamble. But you look like you are accustomed to danger and so much... I mean, my partner's life is at stake. Dwemer Gold. It is buried under this desert somewhere. My partner and I worked Kulati mines for some time, but that effort was of no avail. We came here on our own. The fewer people involved, the greater the reward if something is discovered. No, there is no Dwemer Gold down there. We had already decided to give up on this mine even before the rumbling began. We had talked of seeking our fortunes in Bankorai, though now I suppose I might be going there on my own. You are bold to enter a collapsing mine, stranger. Beware lest you share my fate. No, only my skull was crushed, and this by the tip of my partner's pickaxe. We finally found something of value down here, gems. But in that very moment, I saw the price of my life's blood in her beautiful eyes. Yes. And keenly do I feel the need for revenge. In death, I have been granted this opportunity. I have poured my hatred into the gems we found. Give them to her. Give them to Samsi, and she will be repaid for her treachery. When I was among the living, I had many questions too. Samsi made sure my questions were put to an end, though. If it will convince you to avenge me, I will answer your questions. What is it you wish to know? They would have been worth a fortune when we found them, but now that they carry my curse, any who take them with greed in their heart will have little time to secure a profit. It is possible Samsi always intended this, or her true self simply emerged when we finally found something of value. I have known Samsi many years, and she has always been jealous. But I have never thought she harbored murderous intentions in her heart. I do not know for certain. It is possible that the gemstones were already cursed before we found them, and this is what caused my spirit to linger. Regardless, I believe achieving vengeance on my killer will bring me peace. The crime of murder is unforgivable. Whether Samsi was influenced or not is irrelevant. 
She must pay the consequences for taking my life. Very well. I hope you are convinced that my cause is just. Those who would commit murder for coin deserve terrible suffering. My curse will give Somsi a quick and merciful end. Thank you. Oh no! The fact that he is not with you does not bode well. Did you find anything? Was he dead? What about the... supplies? The gemstones? Thank you so much! I am surprised you... Well, I am simply grateful. I have spent so many years searching in the darkness and found nothing. My luck has finally changed. I am so happy. Wait. Something is wrong. I feel... Ah. Oh. You were the one who saved Cam Tamris and killed Rizal too? <laughs> I hope you made him suffer. Do you believe in fate, my friend? What if I said I was sitting here all my life waiting for you to come? That would be absurd, wouldn't it? No. Fate led both of us here at the perfect moment. And I can prove it. In exactly just a few moments, a windstorm will appear right over there. And you, my friend, you will race it across the desert. Because it is my fate to come here and tell you this, just as it was another's fate to tell me mine, and yet another's before that. Your fate is to race the storm and to win. The question is, are these fates fixed? Will you help me test this? The winds gather even now. The storm will appear here any moment. When it does, you must race. Follow the trail of the blue flames and reach the final flame before the storm does. Are you ready to test your fate, my friend? So you do. And if our fates are true, the wind will wait. I will answer your questions if I can. But know that I am no wise man. I am a dock worker. I only grew this beard and adorned myself so because the woman told me it was my fate to do this. I do not know. Can you? Even if you can, though, does that mean fate is changeable? Or does it mean that you have strayed from your destined path? Perhaps fate is not damaged by this. Perhaps it would be your loss to bear. 
It seems that someone else told her that it was her fate to approach me and send me out here. It was yet another person before that, leading back in an endless chain. That's only if it's all true, of course. But that is what we will test. No. The woman told me to come out to the desert, find someone I had never met, and observe this strange race. I thought she was crazy, but then I thought about it, and my curiosity won out. And now, I believe, because look, you are here. Then if fate is to be believed, the winds are ready as well. Run quickly, my friend, or do not. Either way, we will have our answer. It is true. It is all true. You won the race. Our fates are unavoidable. Do you know what this means? Do you realize the full extent of this? It means... It means... Uh, what does it mean? I had it all figured out. Something very important, very profound. But now, I can't remember. I'm going to stay here until I remember. I have much to ponder now. Do you have further questions of me, my friend? But you ran against the storm. You won. You saw it just as I did. Wait a minute. I think I know what this is about. Did Hadoon send you? He is a good friend. But he thought this fate business was all nonsense. The woman had prescribed his fate as well. But he did not believe it. Nonetheless, I believe he did go into the desert to see. Perhaps you should seek him out. Yes, and every thought we think. Our lives are the shadows fate casts on the sand. Do not fear this truth. Think of fate as your constant companion. To glimpse upon fate is to see what unites us all. Stay back, Wanderer. You are welcome to our camp, but our chief is not entertaining guests. Like so many of our warriors, he has been poisoned. Only his daughter may disturb his rest. 
The king has waited too long. So many warriors have died, and Marima holds on to life by a thread. We will answer the king's call to the best of our ability, but I fear we can do very little. You should speak to Talia if you haven't already. The chief is gravely ill. I fear Tuwaka may claim him soon. Talia! Talia! Is that you? I... am so dizzy. You approach the camp of the Ashaba. Unless you are here to help us, I suggest you turn around and go the other way. Faharajad sent you to ask for our help? Now? The nerve of this king. <laughs> well, if you seek my father, you should know he and many other of our warriors are extremely ill. Some are dead. Our water was poisoned. I suspect it was the necromancers, the withered hand, but... It is of little importance now. All that matters is finding the ingredients for the antidote. If my father dies, there is no Ashaba for the king to call upon. Will you help me then? Come quickly then. Meet me at my tent in the camp. Here. I've marked on your map where my father says we can find the ingredients. Lead the way. I will see my fallen brothers and sister avenged, even if it is the last thing I ever do.
My father has been chief of the tribe for 26 years. We would not know what to do without him. Who would have believed the Withered Hand would poison our water? We must hurry. So many Ashaba have already died. That's everything. Meet me at my father's tent. Must be some way. You must accept this, Talia. My time has come. Go. Prepare the potion. I must speak with our guest. I do not like this. But I will do as you say, Father. You are welcome to our camp. We are usually generous hosts. But... Under the circumstances, I... I hope you understand. You have seen, of course. The tribe is weak, and I am soon to return to the sand. Another must fulfill the sacred duty of the Ashaba. That other is you. It has been foreseen. Yes. There can be no doubt. The Withered Hand. We have never faced such a threat. But it is our duty to stop them. You... You must become one of us. You must become an Ashaba. Then... You must stop the Withered Hand. There is a ritual. My daughter, I told her the ingredients were for an antidote, but she knows now they are for your initiation. There's not much time. You must decide. Are you willing to join us to become an Ashaba? I... I understand your hesitation. Whether you join us or not, defeating the Withered Hen is your destiny. By becoming a Shaba, you are simply fulfilling our duty by doing what you are already destined to do. Nothing further is expected. Thank you. You move a great weight off of the heart of a dying man. The future of our tribe, our honor, depends on you fulfilling 
our duty and fighting the withered hand. My daughter is not happy right now. She's as stubborn as her mother was. But death will not be stayed. Be assured, though, Initiate, after you complete the trial, she will help you fight the hand if you wish. That is good. I believe she has finished mixing the potion for your initiation. Speak to her when you are ready to begin the trial. May Tuwaka guide your path, Initiate, always. The great man lies dying over there, and he has put all his faith in you. I hope it is not misplaced. I have finished mixing the potion for your initiation. Whenever you are ready, we can begin the trial. Very well. Then here it is. Go to the Mikada in the back of the tent and drink. Be prepared, Initiate. The potion will bring on a vision of the past. When the vision is over, you will know what it means to be a Shaba. Samir, rouse yourself, or do you want to miss the battle? Samir, my brother, finally you stir. Did you drink too deeply from the starry well last night? This is unlike you. Quickly, pull yourself together. We can afford no idle time today. Morwa's mercy. Maybe you took a head bump, too. Did you forget about the battle? The regatta will drive these evil elves from our lands for good. I am to fight at your side today, brother. Tell me you still feel up to it. Now there is the Samir I know. Sometime you will have to tell me what has befallen on this last night. A story of wildness, I am sure. Come now, though. Our father prepares to address the regatta. He is expecting us. Samir. I am really starting to worry. Have you been ensorcelled? The year is 853. Our father is King Jaquan. Come from old Yakuta to settle here in the Alakir Desert. I hope this is starting to sound familiar. Blade's Edge, I am sorry. You are the crown prince, but I am your brother and I was worried. Please tell me you are all right. I have been looking forward to this battle for weeks, but Father will not let me fight unless you lead the way. Because they do not want us here. Our people came across the sea from old Yakuta to settle here, but these elves, the Koralanya clan, they will drive us from these shores. We are making our stand today, letting them know we are here to stay. The Ashaba? These people I do not know. Are they also elves? If we must, we will kill them, too. I need you to focus, though, Samir. Focus on the battle today. We should hurry to hear Father's speech. Praise the gods. It would not be proper if we were not present when Father makes his speech. He is very likely starting to worry about us himself.
Agada. You all know that the elves are outside our walls. These infidels call us barbarians. They would drive us from this land. But what the elves do not know is that Rupka himself guided us to these shores. He decreed that the Alakir would be our home. Today, the infidels will see the strength of the Shahai. Ansi will guide our blades. Today, the sands will run red with elven blood. Strong Samir, my heart is proud. I believe this will be a day of destiny for you and your brother. If we wish to remain here, we must cleanse the land of these elves' taint. Yes, and much of the glory for this victory will go to you and your brother. I send you forth as my champions to slice through the elves' ranks and find their leader. The snake's head, and then the body will wither and die. Yes, it is a great honor and a great responsibility, but you have proven your valor time and again, Samir. I know you will succeed and clear the way for our people's future. Go now, and go with the gods, my son. You have my blessing. I know you will be victorious, my son. May Ansi guide your blade. Give me a moment, Samir. I must make my offering to Ansi. Come to my tent when you are ready to enter the battle. Our deeds today will be remembered for generations to come, brother. Lead on. Look at the walking bones. These elves have no shame. Come <laughs> on. 
You are too late, Samir. Your father is dead. Even worse, some elven necromancer. He turned your father into an abomination. The necromancer slew your father and then reanimated his corpse. It is the most terrible thing I have ever seen. He is lost. There is nothing to be done for it. Samir, you must not go in there. You would have to strike down your own father. As darkly as these events have transpired, our laws remain sacred. Your father is honored dead. Harm his remains, and you dishonor yourself. Yes, there is no other choice to be made. I know your father would not want us to abandon our new home here, but he could not have foreseen this. He would not have us break the sacred law. You must not even consider such a thing. We should discuss this, Samir. Come with me. Fate has dealt us a cruel hand, my brother. I agree with you. Father would not want us to flee our home. But do we dishonor ourselves? To kill him would mean exile, but... I am willing to do this if you command. Because it is clear that one of us must make this sacrifice. You are in line to become king now. If you strike our father, you would be throwing all of this away. For me, there is not as much at stake. Just speak the command and I will go, brother. No! No, please! I beseech you to reconsider this decision, Samir. I cannot bear to see you exiled. What will I do? I am not sewn from the same cloth as you and father. I am not meant to be king. My son, you failed me. Now you will die. done then? I would not have such courage. In my mind, you are a hero for what you have done. No, you deserve to be honored for your actions. But the vizier says that by law, you must be exiled instead. I... I don't know what to do. Your courage, your humility. You should be king, not I. I'm sorry. I suppose I must stop acting like a child and accept my responsibility. Whatever happens, though, your sacrifice will never be forgotten. I love you, my brother. Why, Samir? Why? You have broken the most sacred tradition of the kingdom. Nothing can justify such sacrilege. The law is clear, Samir. Exile. You must leave here now and never return. Good. Then there is nothing more for us to discuss. Let us hope your brother learns to listen to my counsel and to make better decisions than you have.
Welcome back. You were gone for longer than I expected. I trust you walked in the steps of Prince Samir of Yath and experienced the events that led to his exile? He was. Samir went on to start a family and a tribe in exile. They wandered the desert as nomads and became known as the Ashaba. Hakmir became king and ruled peacefully until years later, when he again faced the threat of necromancers and undead. The colony from Yath would have fallen, but Samir led his tribe against the necromancers and their army of risen dead. The Ashaba accepted the dishonor of fighting the dead to save the kingdom. So it has been ever since. You have now witnessed the first sacrifice, and you know that true honor need not be named. You are one of us. You are Ashaba. We will recognize you as our brother, and together, we will uphold the sacred duty of our tribe. Yes. The words have been spoken. Normally, my father would conduct a small ceremony and speak the words, but his spirit moved on while you were unconscious. His last request was that you and I would destroy the Withered Hand. There is little we can do to help our fellow Ashaba here now. So we should do as my father wished. We should dedicate ourselves to destroying the Withered Hand. They killed my father. I will enjoy the opportunity to even the score. There is a place to the northeast, a sacred place called Tuwaka's Throne. It is a place of quiet and of honor. Many, many heroes have been laid to rest there. I worry what would happen if the Withered Hand were to go there. I must see to the consecration of my father's remains. It would be disrespectful to do otherwise. Go on to Tuwaka's throne. Look for an Ashaba named Ramati. I know these sands well. I will catch up with you soon enough. kind of you to Ask. Let's see. I was in Rothgar for a while, but Orcish history is such a bore, so I left there and visited some Dwemer ruins in Morrowind. Then I wound up coming here. Stibbins has remained with me, of course. Regrettably. Who knows? Who cares? The blathering fool created such a mess here. 
He's become a liability, especially since the Tomb of Kings. I have a new man assisting me now. He's much more... efficient. Not as efficient as you, but you're not for hire. My researchers in High Rock gave me the essential background. Solace N was an alien stronghold, built by human slaves in the Marithic era. The elves eventually got what they deserved during the Yokudan colonization of Hammerfell in the First Era. It's quite fascinating, really. It would seem to prove that the Altmer and the Aliads were still connected further into the Marithic era than we believed. I actually wrote a book on the subject. Well, someone wrote it for me, but who's counting? I suppose that's a reasonable question. As you might imagine, the elves have locked the main entrance to the portal room. There is a back way, however, through an old prison of some sort. The pillars unlock the door into the prison. Oh, I haven't the foggiest notion what's in the prison. It's been centuries, though. Whatever was down there is surely dead. If not, well, you seem capable enough, and it can't be any worse than the damned elves. Oh, hello there. I remember you, uh, from that tomb in Glenumbra. My memory is so foggy, but I, I remember your face. You won't believe this, but Lady Laurent has fired me. Now I don't know what to do. Because it's all my fault. The Aldmeri. Lady Laurent sent me through the portal to investigate. When the elves saw me, I ran and led them to the portal. So now she hates me. Please, I beg you, will you help me get back in her good graces? Praise you, praise you. I'm trying to gather all her things, but her tools are scattered out in the ruins, and those are her most important possessions. If you'll get the tools for me, I just know she'll forgive me. I just know it. There's one more thing you should know. Lady Laurent hired this thuggish Tamian fellow, and I believe she already asked him to recover her tools. You should speak to him up on the ramparts, and tell him we have it taken care of. No, that expedition was quite a success. A and I was the one who found you. There's simply no explanation for why she's treating me this way. Because he's a brute, and I need to be the one to give her the tools. If I can't make her forgive me, she'll just leave me here, and then what will I do? This is my only chance. for asking.
Well, well, well. If it isn't my old friend from Crosswitch. Let me guess. Lady Laurent has you helping clean up this mess she made. Or is it Stibbins, the bootless coward? He's hoping Lady Laurent will forgive him. It could be worse. Lady Laurent pays well, and she's got a pretty ambitious travel schedule. So I'm getting to see places I had never dreamed of. Can't say this desert's one of the highlights, though. Did he? I'm surprised he could get that out through the whimpering and whining. Lady Laurent already has someone to recover her tools. And you would recover them and give Stibbins the credit? Just following orders. Even before this, Stibbins couldn't keep up, so Lady Laurent hired me. I was just getting a bird's eye view before getting to work. Say, though, if you were going to save Stibbins the trouble, why not help me instead? Well, for one thing, I'm better looking. For another, I'm actually getting paid. Stibbins was always just a glorified slave. Help me get the tools and I'll cut you in. Don't think too long. I'll go down there and get the tools myself if I have to. They're in backpacks, by the way. I bet Stibbins didn't even tell you that. I was wondering if you were going to ask that. Yeah, I snatched up a few tool bags earlier. But there's no reason for me to give them to you, is there? I suppose if you want to lug around the extra weight, I won't complain. Once you've got them all, though, just remember to bring them back to me, not Stibbins. Don't think too long. I'll go down there and get the tools myself if I have to. They're in backpacks, by the way. I bet Stibbins didn't even tell you that. Nice little present from Beck, eh? I respect the radiance of Magnus. I simply wish it. Agreeable.
Well, I think... Praise the Eight. You just saved my reputation and my livelihood. Can I have the tools, then? Ha! That sneaky Tabian fellow sure will be surprised. Hopefully now Lady Laurent will forgive me and realize we don't need any hired help. A mercenary. What an oblivion was she thinking? You certainly made short work of those elves. There seem to be few odd skeletons down here. No problem for you, I'm sure. Now, I assume you found the old tome in my camp? Thank you very much. Fortunately, I can translate the ancient Iliad, and that should tell us how to close the portal. It's through this door right behind me. The problem is that it's locked, but it appears that it's controlled by a switch deeper in the ruins. Would you be a deer and find the switch? Oh, if only I could have someone like you around full time. If you'll get the switch, that will give me time to study up whatever words I need to speak to close the portal. Once you get it opened, I'll just go on in, so meet me in the portal room. Before you speak, stranger, know this. For centuries a spell has bound me. Many have tried to free me and failed. This prison has no lock or bonds to break. Did you hear me? This is no common spell. It was cast by Ultimer wizards long since dead. This is a true curse. The task is beyond you. Of course, a fool would still try. Do as you wish. I won't harbor faint hope. For centuries, amateurs like yourself have tried to release me. Fools, all of you. You'd have a better chance of becoming the next emperor. If I knew, don't you think I would have escaped by now? All I know is the tiles must be used in the right order, and the order was determined by time, whatever that means. It was the regatta, the warrior wave. 
The warriors sought vengeance. The swords of Yakuda passed through these halls, and the High Elves were washed away. They would have killed me, were it not for this spell. Instead, I watched, safely ensconced within this prison, as my captors were slaughtered. Many centuries passed before I learned who the warriors were, or from whence they came. A foreign people had arrived on these shores. They came from a distant land, Yakuda it was called. Yakudan warriors set out to conquer the new world they found. Singers named them the Regatta. It pains me to speak of the past. Would you force me to relive such bitter memories? Ha! Please! There's a word I remember well. Please, she said to me. No one will know she promised. She was wrong. Nuralanya, she was called in her high elven tongue. She was just Nura when we were together. I could deny her nothing. I was enthralled, a slave madly in love with his master. Our secret was eventually exposed, and the elves were furious. Our love was an abomination in their eyes. They decided execution was too kind a punishment for our crime. Aye, I was here, and she was there. To see one another, but not able to hear, or touch, or hold. Yet even that torment was insufficient for their retribution. The elves wove a spell to extend my life and prolong my torment. Elves live a long time. But not forever. I sat and watched as Nura slowly grew old and died. Some time after that, the Regatta came and slaughtered the other elves. But even with them dead, the spell held strong. It was the Regatta, the warrior wave. Fine. What would you ask of me?
expect that to work. doing that. You may be onto something. By the bloody fangs of Moloch, by the stench of Moloch's gaping maw, what have you done? How can this be? I'm free? I... I should thank you, but I don't even think this is what I wanted. It's been so long since my life was my own. This is all I know. I don't want to leave. The orc I know and love would never utter such words. Nura, is it really you? It's been so long. We've suffered enough of this curse. By the grace of Mara, I've been allowed to take you beyond this mortal realm. Finally, a release from the suffering of this world. Come, my love. We have the rest of eternity to be together. They have so much faith in that seal they put on the main door. They don't even have anyone guarding the portal. I'm not complaining, though. Are you ready to do this? All right. You're going to have to protect me, though. 
The chamber may be clear now, but as soon as I start the ritual, they'll realize it on the other side. They might try to charge through and stop us. All right, let's get this started. <clears throat> Go, Rose. Woohoo! Take that, you damned elves! Oh, wait, I just lost my place. Alusaba. Takio? Takio. Takio? How do you. All right, I think I've got it. Mala Alu Takeo. Well, that takes care of that now, doesn't it? I'm actually quite relieved. It would have been so embarrassing to have been responsible for the fall of Alakir. After I opened the portal, I considered just leaving and denying that I was ever here. I am too. Now. If you would, though, I still would prefer to keep this quiet. I do have a reputation to uphold, you know. 